the cynic is always, always wrong. Yes, yes, the cynic. You, if you're watching this in our cynic, you're wrong. How do I get off saying that, huh? How can I sit there and say, you're just wrong, right? Well, because you are. Let me explain, because you're clearly wanting an explanation, hypothetical cynic. Everything has already gotten better and continues to get better. Let's just start with a thought exercise. Let's take you back to the 1400s, you know, 1400 AD. Sorry, you're dead from plague. You drew the wrong lot, you're, you're dead because shit sucked back then. We didn't have anything really related to hygiene, and everybody was dying from plague, and infant mortality rates were huge and terrible. Now, let's contrast that with right now. Okay, things aren't the best, I give you that. It's not like this is a shining, perfect example of a utopia. Far from it. But, check around you. When was the last time you saw a pile of corpses from plague? Never? Well, that's a step up, isn't it? How about this? You have a computer. You're watching me on the internet. Right now, you're watching me talking to you through the internet. Holy shit. The internet's pretty amazing, isn't it? And that's a very recent innovation. If you might remember the times before the internet, oh, uh, right? Shit got a lot better, didn't it? Let's contrast this further back. Though. Let's go to the beginning of human history, right? Before we had sanitation and before we had laws that were even a fair bit just, right, you know, and we had draconian law by Draco, start with chopping off hands and work his way up from there. Things have gotten objectively better throughout history, throughout time. Since the beginning of the human race, things have objectively gotten better. You cannot argue this. If you look around and say it's not different from 10,000 years ago, well then you're a liar. You're, you're lying. There's no other way around this. Things are better. Things are different. And for the cynic who says, well, things may have gotten better, but now they're going down the shitter. Well, let me tell you something here. Everybody's been predicting that shit since there's been predictions. <laughs> like, there's always been some guy saying that things today are worse than they used to be, and everything's going to shit now. Plato did a whole rant where he was talking about how the youth are disrespectful of their elders. People are more ignorant than they used to be, and it seems like society's collapsing around him. Sound familiar? Yeah, people have been predicting this for a long time. Well, how about the Christians? They have a good example of this too, right? The doomsayers, 1000 AD, people said the Judgment Day was coming. The fall of Rome, Judgment Day was coming. How many times has Judgment Day supposedly come recently? Hmm? There's been big news stirrups about people predicting Judgment Days that... How about that? We're still here. <laughs> yep, still here. Um, so, when we look around and we see that not only are we still here, but we've mastered the arts of sanitation, technology, and going to goddamn space. Mind you, we have a rover on Mars right now. We're checking out Mars from Earth. We haven't left Earth. We sent a robot to Mars. Holy shit. That is some of that pinnacle of advancement shit that people talk about, right? Yet you're going to sit here and say that things aren't better. That things are getting worse somehow, actually, right? Again, take a quick history tour, right? Let's talk about the 60s. We were, what, this close from nuclear fucking Armageddon? We, uh, but we didn't blow ourselves up. Yet we were this close. We were staring each other down, aiming the barrels of nuclear guns at each other, basically. And yet, we took a step back and didn't do it. What does that tell you? That throughout history and time, bad things have happened, yet we've always risen up from it, or taken a step back from it, or stopped it before it went too far. World War II, pretty good example of world destruction, right? We survived. In fact, we advanced. Every time you can point to any negative event in our history, we have advanced beyond it in the end. Maybe it took us a thousand years to overcome it, but we did it. Every time thus far, the human race has marched beyond whatever hardships has hit it. Perhaps not in the best way, perhaps quite messily at times, in fact many times, quite messily and with much pain. But that does not change the fact that we did it in the end no matter how much blood was lost and how much idiots fought the change. In the end, it changed. It moved and got better, didn't it? You can't deny this. And in the end, the cynic really comes across as a petulant child to me. 
I would know because I used to be a cynic. For the longest time in my life, I was a cynical bastard, too. I would sit there and say, well, why are you trying? You know, it's, it all sucks. Can't you see that it's all going to end any minute now? People are just throwing it all away and can't see the truth and all this other good shit. Yeah, I used to do that, too. I used to doomsay with everyone else. But that's easy. That shit is really easy in the end. It's a good escape for not caring. It's the alternative to waking up and realizing that the world can be saved. You just gotta, you know, roll up your shirt sleeves and get into it. You gotta wade in the shit if you want to save the world. And for a lot of people, that just seems like too much effort. It seems too hard, right? They miss the point of baby steps, one at a time, moving forward. That's the difference, really, between the idealist and the cynic. The idealist sees that things can change. Maybe he thinks it too easy, perhaps. But he sees that things can change, while the cynic... The cynic is merely lost in this idea that it's too hard. That no one else sees what they see. That maybe things could be different if everybody were smarter or something, right? Well, isn't that arrogant, hmm? Isn't that smack of arrogance, too? It's a little, little slice of arrogance the cynic gets to sneak in their little package of not giving a shit about the world. Well, I see it. Why don't they see it? Right? So, rather than be the petulant child, hmm? You know, the world isn't as good as it could be, so fuck it all. You're a teenager. A teenager whose parents just said you couldn't go out and party late at night, so now the entire universe sucks forever because it's not the way you want it to be. You know what? It's never going to be the way you want it to be, and it's never been exactly the way anyone wants it to be. Get over it. Sorry, get the fuck over it. It's, it is as it is, and... The true failure of the cynic becomes that you don't matter. You don't matter as a cynic. We have thousands of doomsayers already. One more is nothing. Another person sitting there saying that the human race is eventually doomed to failure doesn't amount to anything. We have enough of it, and your message is the same, no matter who's saying it. We are doomed the end. Fine, we get it. You know what takes effort and matters? Saying anything other than that, like we could make a difference, or trying. And you know what? Here's the final note. Let's say all of it is doomed, right? Let's say you're right, Mr. Senek. That all of my efforts aside will be meaningless. You know what? At least I tried. I sat down and I tried. I spent my life trying to do something productive and worthwhile. What do you have to say? That you predicted the end and then it came? Well, good job. Good job. Just something to think about.